Hi guys, Mike Greer here, and today I'm going to show you how you can use the FB Reader ebook reader along with the FB Reader text to speech plugin, the Ivona text to speech engine, and the Ivona Kendra US English voice to convert any ebook on your Android smartphone or tablet into an audiobook. So you can kick back, close your eyes, and listen, whether you're on the train or you're doing a little homework, sitting in your room. Just relax, close your eyes, and let the FB Reader and the Ivona voice work through that book for you. Well, the first thing you need to do is go out to the Google Play Store and get the FB Reader app. This shows the listing at the Google Play Store. And one thing I want to show you here is this very nice little video that provides an overview of how the FB Reader works. Suffice it to say that the FB Reader is one of the highest rated apps out there for reading ebooks, and it's also connected to giant collections of free ebooks. So you can just load up your book with classics and uh, quite easily control the way they look, feel, and everything else. I'm not going to go into how that works. This little video here will show you a little more about that. We're going to focus just on the text to speech aspect today. So Having installed that, this icon appears somewhere on your Android. And what we need to do next is get that FB Reader text to speech plugin. Now, the way we do this is again back to the Google Play Store, download it, and click install, and it will appear. Now, notice it appears with a little speaker and some imaginary sound coming out of it there. So we have those two are now installed. Now, what I'm ready to do now is use the FB Reader and the FB Reader text to speech plugin to cause my Android tablet or my Android phone to read any ebook using my device's onboard default text to speech engine. But I've listened to Ivona and I've learned that it's really amazing. So we're going to want to get that. So I go out to the App Store, get the Ivona text to speech app. As you can see, it's over a million downloads and a nice little demo video there that really shows you how it sounds. Install that. So now I've got three of the four installed and that's the way the little icon appears there, the text-to-speech engine. Next, we need to find a language. So by searching Ivona Voices in the Play Store, you're going to come up with a whole bunch of different languages that could be used by, this, by the Ivona text-to-speech engine. So you have the US English, UK English, Polish, Marlene German, Italian, Carmen, and another page full of stuff has Gwyneth in the UK. Um, notice whenever you, you're going to get some other ones mixed in here, but we'd look for the I and then the flag indicating where that particular voice is coming from. So plenty of them there, Gwyneth, Welsh, and so forth. What I'm going to pick is Kendra US English, which is a nice, a little deeper sounding voice you got to think in terms of fatigue, ear fatigue sort of. So you, you want to get a voice that's soft yet powerful and enunciates well and really sounds like natural language. And this is a wonderful, very highly rated uh, text-to-speech voice. So I download that and now we have all four things that we need. So what we need to do next is go into the settings on your Android device. Scroll down to language and input right here. And then looking over here at the choices, you're going to see speech, text-to-speech output. So I'm clicking on that, and up comes the Ivona text-to-speech HQ is listed there as one of the engines. You'll probably find is that your Google text-to-speech engine is what is chosen or whatever's already there. But we want to click on Ivona text-to-speech, cause it to be the preferred engine, and then you can adjust the speech rate and listen to a sample. So we're going to listen to a sample right now. I am American English Ivona Voice. I am American English Ivona Voice. Okay, so you hear that's that's a nice soft sounding voice, one that uh, will not cause a lot of fatigue over time. So once we have the Ivona set as the preferred engine, we're going to go to the I'll come out here and click on our FB Reader icon. And that, of course, is going to activate this FB Reader app that we had just installed. 
And now, uh, like I say, I'm not going to do a complete demo on how to use the app as a reader, but we're going to talk about using it as a, a text-to-speech reader. So go up here and we click Read. And actually, I've got my listing of chapters here. We're going to look at the story of the fishermen. Now, here's the, the main icons on top. First icon is My Bookshelf. That would show all the books that I've got loaded. The second icon is a list of books with a globe there, which shows all of the different free collections, like um, you, you know Gutenberg and all that other, and plenty of other collections, feed books and all of that, that the reader, the FB reader, is connected to. And then we take a look at this next is the listing of chapters, which was right here. And then finally, there's a standard bookmark here that you can place bookmarks in. But I'm gonna. What we're interested in here is to click on the settings and doing so causes this little menu to appear lots and lots of stuff and if you click on settings after you click on the main settings menu and go into deeper settings you're going to find so much stuff there font control and interline spacing and just all kinds of stuff never seen so many things but what I'm interested in now is the speak so I go down here and click speak at the bottom of that listing and up comes this little toolbar which is a standard audio kind of toolbar. You can jump one sentence at a time with this first one, go back one sentence, just play, and then you have forward one sentence, you have the stop, and now there's an extra menu item there. You click on that, and up comes the change voice or language, reset it. Here you can modify the rate of your text-to-speech engine so it's either going really really fast or it's going slow and easy. You can also modify the pitch and the volume as well. So, so now we're going to listen and see what this sounds like. The story of the fisherman. Sire, there was once upon a time a fisherman so old and so poor that he could scarcely manage to support his wife and three children. He went every day to fish very early and each day he made a rule not to throw his nets more than four times. He started out one morning by moonlight and came to the seashore. He undressed and threw his nets, and as he was drawing them towards the bank he felt a great weight, he though he had caught a large fish, and he felt very pleased. But a moment afterwards, seeing that instead of a fish he only had in his nets the carcass of an ass, he was much disappointed. Okay, so you can see there, it's a very natural sounding voice, rich, not grating on the ears, and pretty good experience. I can fold up my ebook at this point, plug in my headphones, and be on my way. And so if motion sickness on that bus ride uh, bothers you, or you just want to rest your eyes, you're good to go. You can turn any ebook into an audiobook. Play it on your Android device with FB Reader the FB Reader text-to-speech plugin, Ivona text-to-speech speech engine, and the Ivona Kendra US English. Of course, you can choose your own language. These are also available to some extent in the Apple Store. Of course, there's more restrictions because it's Apple, and that's the way they are. So, so the FB Reader and Ivona text-to-speech, a couple of great examples of powerful tools that can help you on your self-directed learning tour we're just enjoying that e-reader audiobook experience.